The Bayer Category Theorem BCT is an important tool in general topology and functional analysis. The theorem has two forms, each of which gives sufficient conditions for a topological space to be a Bayer space. The theorem was proved by René Louis Bayer in his 1899 doctoral thesis. Topic: <laughs> Statement of the theorem. A bare space is a topological space with the following property: for each countable collection of open dense sets, U n n equals one. Infinity display style u underscore n underscore n equals one caret inf t. Their intersection n equals one infinity u n display style text style big cap underscore n equals one caret inf t u underscore n is dense. BCT one every complete metric space is a bare space. More generally, every topological space which is homeomorphic to an open subset of a complete pseudometric space is a bare space. Thus every completely metrizable topological space is a bare space. BCT2 every locally compact Hausdorff space is a bare space. The proof is similar to the preceding statement. The finite intersection property takes the role played by completeness. Note that neither of these statements implies the other, since there are complete metric spaces which are not locally compact, the irrational numbers with the metric defined below. Also, any Banach space of infinite dimension, and there are locally compact Hausdorff spaces which are not metrizable, for instance, any uncountable product of non trivial compact Hausdorff spaces is such. Also, several function spaces used in functional analysis, the Uncountable Fort space. See Steen and Seabark in the references below. BCT3, a non-empty complete metric space, or any of its subsets with non-empty interior, is not the countable union of nowhere dense sets. This formulation is equivalent to BCT1 and is sometimes more useful in applications. Also, if a non-empty complete metric space is the countable union of closed sets, then one of these closed sets has non-empty interior. Topic. Relation to the axiom of choice The proofs of BCT1 and BCT2 for arbitrary complete metric spaces require some form of the axiom of choice, and in fact BCT1 is equivalent over ZF to a weak form of the axiom of choice called the axiom of dependent choices, a restricted form of the bare category theorem, in which the complete metric space is also assumed to be separable, is provable in ZF with no additional choice principles. This restricted form applies in particular to the real line, the bare space U, the Cantor space 2 omega, and a separable Hilbert space such as L2 Rn. Uses of the theorem BCT1 is used in functional analysis to prove the open mapping theorem, the closed graph theorem and the uniform boundedness principle. BCT1 also shows that every complete metric space with no isolated points is uncountable. If X is a countable complete metric space with no isolated points, then each singleton X in X is nowhere dense, and so X is of first category in itself. In particular, this proves that the set of all real numbers is uncountable. BCT1 shows that each of the following is a bare space. The space R display style mathbound R of real numbers the irrational numbers with the metric defined by d x y equals 1 n plus 1 display style d x y equals t f r a c 1 n plus 1 where n display style n is the first index for which the continued fraction expansions of X display style X and Y display style Y differ. This is a complete metric space. The Cantor set B B C T two. Every finite dimensional Hausdorff manifold is a bare space since it is locally compact and Hausdorff. This is so even for non-paracompact, hence non manifolds such as the long line.
Topic Proof The following is a standard proof that a complete pseudometric space X display style script style X is a bare space. Let U N display style U underscore N be a countable collection of open dense subsets. We want to show that the intersection U N display style big cap U underscore N is dense. A subset is dense if and only if every non-empty open subset intersects it. Thus, to show that the intersection is dense, it is sufficient to show that any non-empty open set W display style W in X display style X has a point X display style X in common with all of the U N display style u underscore n since u1 display style u underscore 1 is dense w display style w intersects u1 display style u underscore 1 thus there is a point x1 display style x underscore 1 and 0 r11 display style 0 such that b x1 r1 w u1 display style overline b x underscore 1 r underscore 1 subset w cap u underscore 1 where b x r display style b x r and b x r display style overline B X R denote an open and closed ball, respectively, centered at X display style X with rad I U S R display style R. Since each U N display style U underscore N is dense, we can continue recursively to find a pair of sequences X N display style X underscore N and zero R N one N display style zero, such that B X N R N B X N minus one R N minus one U N display style overline B X underscore N R underscore N subset B X underscore N one R underscore N one cap U underscore N. This step relies on the axiom of choice, since X N element of B X M R M display style X underscore N in B X underscore M R underscore M when N greater than M display style N greater than M we have that X N display style X underscore N is Cauchy and hence x n display style x underscore n converges to some limit x display style x by completeness for any n display style n by closeness x element of b x n r n Display style x in overline b x underscore n r underscore n. Therefore, x element of w display style x in w and x element of u n display style x in u underscore n for all n display style n. See also this blog post 1 by M Baker for the proof of the theorem using Choquet's game. Topic See also Property of bear equals equals notes <laughs>